Hi folks, my name is Ben Campbell. I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of our house, 31 Riverview Drive. As I approach the house, you can see our covered parking area, nice little front porch, a side yard. We'll get to the exterior yards in a minute. Nice spacious foyer entryway, which leads into the great room, where you can see lots of custom built-ins, amazing windows, great natural light. And a fantastic kitchen, gas top range. Beautiful counters, box of donuts from hole around the corner. As I walk through the house, you see this wonderful open staircase built from local timber. Our first full, full bathroom on the main level. A bedroom on the main level. It's been used as a children's bedroom. With amazing windows overlooking downtown. Go ahead and turn. In front of me, you see a small closet, and underneath the stairs, there's ample storage, lots of room. Hide all your things. As I walk up the stairs, you see more windows. This is one of my favorite windows in the house, looking straight out of downtown in the River Arts District. Continue further upstairs. Again, more windows, more natural light. You can hear that light is definitely a theme in this house. So this is the master suite. We like to think of it as a retreat. It encompasses essentially the entire upstairs of the house. Roughly 600 square feet unto itself. Windows all around. And I'll tell you that the sun basically rises in those top windows there, tracks across throughout the day, and then sets right over here, which is one of my favorite features of the house. As I enter into the bedroom, you see gorgeous nine-foot barn doors leading into one of the walk-in closets. Heading down the hallway, you see another walk-in closet we've actually been using as a child's sleeping room. Nice vanity open shower and again lots and lots of windows this one's looking out toward the river take a quick look out at it probably my favorite feature of this house Amazing upstairs deck overlooking downtown and the River Arts District. Keep lots of plants up here. Go ahead and head back into the master bedroom. Downstairs, out onto another deck. This one facing west. 
So, afternoons, having dinner out on this porch, a lot of fun here. In the deck you can see our tiered organic garden beds. Lots of vegetation all around the house. Muscadine grapes growing down to flattened area of the yard. This was on a relatively steep hill and we excavated a flattened area for space where our kids like to hang out and also this entryway into the lower level of the house which we actually use as an Airbnb. I'll back up so you can see the full, full effect here. And head in to our Airbnb. As you can see we've outfitted it with a small kitchen. Bed. Lots of space here in this room. It was actually originally intended and used as a as a yoga studio so it's completely detached from the house nice acoustic, acoustic ceiling uh, keep the noise out and again uh, third full bathroom on the lower level so a full bathroom on each of three floors um, this closet actually houses uh, the HVAC system which is three separate zones, as well as um, insulation, and perhaps you can see back there uh, a Renai on-demand tankless water heater. And lastly, we have this currently used as a storage area, but uh, another roughly 14 by 16 room that just needs a little bit of love to make it its own standalone bedroom. The only thing it's missing is uh, some sealant and flooring and uh, an event pulled off that HVAC system in the kind of closet right there next door. I'll go ahead and show you some of the grounds around the house before uh, ending this tour. way leads to this area which is its own separate fenced in area for our Airbnb guests or other visitors who might be staying with us. We even had folks bring their own dogs. Nice pathway leading out. I'll take one last loop around the other side so you can get a feel for the rest of the yard. Here you can see, again, those garden beds I mentioned. Nice little padded rock area here. And that brings us back to the front of the house. Thank you so much for taking the time.